Can you beat Kingdom Rush Vengeance with just Wicked Sisters? <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. Let's be honest. You probably hate this tower. This may go down in the record books as one of the worst magic towers. One of the reasons is, the witches, even when you spread them out like I'm doing and alternate the purple versus the green, they're still not that great. They'll still target the same guy. So you get all this freaking redundancy of them attacking the same guy. So the poison will be trying to kill an enemy that's already run too far, who's already dead. They'll be poisoning nothing. They'll just throw their freaking magic bulbs all over the ground, wasting them. I think these are the slowest attacking towers to ever exist. But so far, I've made it to this point in the challenge, so maybe they're not as bad as I thought. Look at this part. They're actually really good at taking down slow, high-armored foes, even guys with high health. They're pretty good against them. So, Blazing Gem is better, way better, and they're both paid towers, so you might as well just buy that one. Okay, so as you can see here, this part, I fail at this boss. This boss isn't even that hard, but there's a lot of minions on this. Freaking, there's a lot of minions, okay? Hard to control them all. So I try it again. This time I'm certain I can take him down if I just, I don't know, maybe stop being a little less lazy. Look at that, though. I'm taking down these robots with, with pretty much a lot of ease, so... This guy's going down now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now I'm getting into some magic-resistant enemy levels. With lots of swarms, lots of little guys trying to sneak through and run past and ruin your Thanksgiving plans. I can't let that happen. My witches must be on the alert. It's too bad that I'm, I'm, seriously, I'm pretty sure that these guys are the slowest attacking anything to ever exist. I think it's like every 2.5 seconds they throw a blob and, you know, if, it, if it's missing, I don't know, 30% of the time, then what, nah, you do the math. You do it. So we have Apex Stalkers, we have Ice Witches, both of which are summoning or breaking off little shards. I didn't even realize until I was, you know, pretty much all the way through this stupid challenge that the silencing ability will stop that, supposedly. I read about it somewhere. And I probably could have used that more. I did use it in the later levels, but I was like, well, why would I be paying for all this silencing if they're not gonna be able to silence anything? But it's pretty much any ability that you didn't even really think of from any of the enemies, so maybe it's better than I thought. And it's a totem that lasts like 10 seconds, so. Eh, that's pretty good if it's affecting a whole area of magic foes. We have some coming up later, as you know. Some purple-hatted magicians that really piss me off. I wish I could just grind him up with the eye of a newt and the toad of a lemur frog and just make a potion to whisk them all away! <laughs> Quite fitting for a challenge like this! Ah, where was I? So we're working through these snow levels. They've been kind of manageable so far. I had 15 hearts in this one. I beat it. Okay. Now I have some bigger enemies that are slow. Some are armored. I got those polar bears that I'm trying to make go extinct with my witches. With the bruise of a thousand horse loot eyes. And it's going pretty good. I've made it past all these, so I'm like, okay. I can do this challenge with this slow, hard to play with, just clunky tower that wasn't that great. It just it just wasn't built that great, you know? If they made it attack a little bit faster, okay, you have to give some credit where credit is due though. I've made it this far in the challenge. I'm about to fight the Queen Dragon herself. Like, they've brought me this far. Why wouldn't they be able to bring me all the way to the end? I mean, this game's freaking way too freaking easy anyways, so maybe even a crappy tower like this can do it. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think this tower sucks? Do you think the Wicked Sisters are a good tower? They do a decent amount of damage. If you have some damage-boosting abilities next to it, I think they can even do like 240 per hit or something like that. The stunning is kind of nice, but anyways, time for the real last boss! Let's fight! Uh, go! Get him! Yeah, we hit him! What's 
got him! Oh, it's a poison! Oh, he's gonna get through! Oh no! He's gonna summon the sheep! He's gonna summon the sheep! There they are! Take him out! Yeah! The last boss is gone! Take that, you brother of Leroy Jenkins! This level, man, I thought I was gonna do a lot worse. Three stars. Oh yeah, on the farm with all those little minions. Maybe these witches, maybe the, I don't like to admit it. I don't like to, but they might be growing on me. Look at that. Look how far I've made it with just these witches. Sure, Blazing Gem is better. Yeah, mausoleums are insane. Deep Devil's Reef? Oh yeah, Morgan destroyed that and narrated that one. Amazing. But this tower, maybe it does have a place. Maybe the silencing is nice here and there. Maybe it actually does do a good amount of damage. Let's see how it fares against Gerald, the Light Seeker, the One Man Army. Surely we can take him down with a few potions. A few broomstick beatings across the old noggin. Let's see how they fare. This is one nice thing. I mean, I can float them right over top of him and they can just all attack him. I mean, look at that. Wow. That is actually one of the fastest times I've ever beat that guy. So now we're on to the final level. Look at that. Freaking all with it. King Dennis's castle. I mean, this level is so easy for the first half. I just skip it. Everything goes down easily. Something else we need to mention. The Frogify, whatever it's called ability, actually kind of serves as an insta-kill. It does mean that you have to pay attention to when the frogs are created, and you have to smash them with your thumbs like a caveman, but that's okay. Look at that, though! We're on the last boss, guys! The witches made it all the way here! Maybe they don't suck! Maybe this tower's okay! Maybe it's just really slow, you know? Hey, look at that! <laughs> so can you beat Kingdom Rush Vengeance with just Wicked Sisters? <laughs> Somehow, yes! With this crappy tower, yes! Yes, you can! Thanks for watching! Like and subscribe or something!